I never went to Disneyland because we did not have that kind of disposable income as a family. But this guy Brad at my middle school did, though, and he came back wearing the shirts and all that shit. Then this kid named Sam beat his ass senseless for showing off. It's pretty funny. Fast forward to adulthood years later, I get an Instagram follow, and it's from Brad. He's wearing mouse ears, probably alone. I did not look at the profile, and it freaked me out, kind of, if I'm being honest. I did not get a friend request from Sam because he's in prison for assault. This week on No Accounting for Taste, we were talking about... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we are talking about the most hated group on the internet And no, I'm not talking about the Irish A group even more disturbing <laughs> Let's give these people who act like it's Halloween 365 days a year a real look And lift up the mouse ears and see what kind of person is actually in there This week we are discussing, analyzing, and defending people Who have the same physique as the cartoons they are obsessed with That's right, it's Disney adults on No Accounting for Taste How you're good with words, you know that, man? I think the gym is dumb did Rachel was, walk in the room? Of course I've eaten a Baconator. Man, if you ain't doing CrossFit, you can get CrossFit. You're shuffle. right. A long burger's not the worst idea I've ever heard. That's your sitcom right there as a, as a, as a Mr. Fix-It-All who just can't fix his heart. We will not be defending Atlantic City. No accounting for taste. If it's something that somebody loves, let's try and celebrate it instead of uh, shitting on it. Check out No House Advantage today. Experience daily fantasy sports redefined. Sign up with code NAFT at nohouseadvantage.com or download the app and get first deposit match up to $25. Well, let's get, let's get a piece of it. Here we are. <laughs> I feel like, all right. I've, We're I, talking about I, Disney Adults today. I went there a few years ago. Had you been before right? this? I, I would go to Disney World when I was a little kid. So my dad worked for the, he worked for Eastern Airlines, so they had some like tie in with Disney World. Okay, so we could always go for like a relatively affordable. Yeah, it was the only way we were gonna go. There's a know? bit of a discount. Yeah, yeah, and so I I had a good time. It's I mean, but as a kid, and then I went as an adult, thinking I was very skeptical with Rachel and her friend. Like, let's see, had a blast. Really, I had a great time because I'm an adult with no kids. So I have money to spend on the fast pass to get on the rides before everybody else. Is the fast pass worth it? As a yes, yes. I'm not going to stand around with all these kids. Yeah, I got money because I don't have kids. Let me get in front of these kids. <laughs> Let me skip in front of these kids. And probably the most memorable part: the rides were all very fun. Okay, food was like you know, food. theme bar food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then, right around four or five o'clock watching all the kids melt down and the parents because their day was too long finally yeah, yeah they're just burnt out it's understandable but just watching parents not navigate that well that seems like the worst fucking thing yeah for them oh for, you for were having me a, i thought it was hilarious you were just sitting at a he, just well, do they have bars they you can we can we will get to that yeah. they do have uh places that you can't get when i was there i think it was just the club 33 and it was like too hard to get into we didn't mess around with it but uh i i watched a woman yelling at one of her kids because they like bit into a glow stick <laughs> and was it was like what do you can't bite they like yelling at a kid who doesn't know any yeah, better. yeah 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 and, then, and by the way, you've let them run free all day. I like they're not going to take some liberties. But this was not because then she had another kid in a stroller that she just out of frustration pushed the stroller away from her. Like <laughs> just in a moment, yeah, just in a moment, uh, just a complete lack of judgment. Push it like not like hard shove, but with enough speed where it hit like a little retaining wall and bounced the stroller, bounced just unmanned, bounced with a kid in it. And everybody around was like, lady, we're going to need you to take some deep breaths. <laughs> nobody's calling security. We've all been there. Yeah, nobody's calling security. But what you did was pretty fucked up. And I think even she was just like, could tell. Yeah, she's like, uh. <laughs> I got one kid who's got glow stick innards all over his mouth. <laughs> He's gonna get some. He's gonna get some sort of like juvenile cancer. Yeah, that's just like the. My wrong. other kid's got whiplash, and everybody's <laughs> like, "Just leave, just leave. It's not gonna get better. Just take him home." Yeah, that's um. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. Were, I was. That wild. doesn't sound fun to see to me. I wasn't fun to see. No, nobody got hurt. Well, I yeah. don't know about the glow stick kid. Who knows? Yeah, what yeah. That's what's that's gonna do to him? But. Also, I, I don't know. Disney seems like they're pretty like. I mean, I guess it all seems normal. Insulate, well, insulated from lawsuits where they're not going to give. It's not going to be like regular state fair glow sticks where like 
Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, you, a- your kid drank the glow stick goop? Well, we packed up already. We're on to the next town. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, yeah. It's how to, these yeah. are all independent <laughs> contractors. Who knows who's selling the glow sticks? They're, they're, they're all kind a, None of, of these people are employees. Yeah. Yeah, it's all very controlled. But it, it wasn't fun to see. It was like just watching people melt down. That is like the very mm-hmm. idea of something that is just uh, – would unnerve me all day, that it, amount of kids and that amount, like... Yeah, it's a real vasectomy inducer. <laughs> I'm just watching them plead with their children because they know how much money they spent and it's only like 6 p.m. and the park's open until like 9 or 10. Like, <laughs> yeah. But there's fireworks. Yeah. And then it is the adults that like... And that everything like, is stimulation for them in this place, too. Yeah, yeah and yeah. the adults are, are enjoying Disneyland and it's their kids who are like, I want to go. They're like, no, there's more magic. <laughs> like I'm done. I don't want any more magic. I've been in the sun. I magicked out. Yeah, I went on a carousel. I threw up a churro. I yeah, don't want I'm any more magic. Good to, yeah. Um, when you were there, did you see like the the Disney adults? Are they easy to spot? I, I, I like in my mind the ones I know. You don't you don't see the guy in the camouflage when you're in the battlefield. You yeah, see, you see, yeah, they, yeah, they stick yeah, out the elsewhere. Whole, every, yeah, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> that's when, what I mean. Like it's when you're at Ra- Ralph's and there's somebody wearing <laughs> Mickey Matt Mouse Mousier, ears. Yeah. Like, try, <laughs> <laughs> trying to decide which frozen pizza they yeah, want. Yeah. yeah, everybody there was just having a good time. Yeah, yeah. I so I've never been and I have a few experiences with people who are Disney adults. Mm-hmm. Okay, and one was my friend. Uh, Jess that I worked with, and she just loved that shit. Like it was like, yeah, she wouldn't, um, she wouldn't like wear shirts or anything like that to work. Yeah, you know, but like like Mickey Mouse. But yeah, I, I do remember every Halloween she was a princess, and it was really extravagant. Yeah. You know, it was enough to be yeah. like, all right. And then I, uh, she was like, <laughs> yeah, I go like three times a year, and I was like. Why? She goes, it's just so mad. Like, you know, I th- I think it's a thing that gets in you from when you're a child. Like that. Would uh, you rather be close personal friends with somebody that goes to Disneyland three times a year or somebody goes to like Hedo 2 now down in the grill? Cl- Club hedonism um, for people that don't know. Hedo. Go down to Hedo 2 in the grill. I would, say, I would say I probably am <laughs> friends with more people who go to Hedo 2 than, I know, than, than Disney people. adults. So I guess I made my choice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I walked down that path, but but people are like ah, oh, we just go down to Sandals like three or four times a year, <sighs> meet some people we're not going to meet again. I I'm think like, that happens at Disneyland. I think that probably is. You think there's like an unspoken? I think there's a seedy under. I think there's some underbelly to it. Really? I, I th- if this, if it's so much a thing that it's like <laughs> everybody around. knows about Disney adults and they're like it's a public thing, then mm-hmm. there's a bad part of it too. There's like there always there's always some perverts in a group. Well, yes, which we will get to, but I feel like pervert's going to perv. Yeah, you can't blame Disney for that. No, I mean, that's I, true. This, this is just the. This yeah, is just the uh, the goofy they landed on. Yeah, yeah, I'd be weirder. Like, like if people are just like super into Six Flags, like what kind of broken white <laughs> trash shit you got going that's on? Looney like, Tunes. That's fun. Yeah, but it's also like just. Like gang activity. Yeah, that's the true. fact that the, the fact that the Six Flags here is like known gang turf. <laughs> like that that Magic Mountain. That that's one of the risks. Is like there's always like knife fights and shit. That kills me. That you would go to get thrilled by riding roller coasters, but also maybe stab somebody. <laughs> It's after getting just a off, guy in a bloody Tweety Bird shirt. Yeah, after yeah, yeah. getting off the Superman ride, like, oh, that was fucking scary, dog. <laughs> what are you looking at, Holmes? It's <laughs> 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 a knife fight. <laughs> like that's when you're tough, but it's like, huh, like when it's not scary farm. It's just dudes in like yeah, long. That was a thrill. <laughs> long denim shorts, <laughs> like getting like jump scared and by they're ghouls. Like, yeah, yeah, they're just like they're kind of like <laughs> their equilibrium's off because they got mm-hmm. slammed around so much. Yeah, knowing that there's still like yeah, like I ga- guess, I guess, I guess in that sense, places. Disneyland adults are best, best. I think you've priced out some of the riffraff. At I Disneyland, think yeah, so. it does seem pricey. The other person I know that was a true Disney adult was uh, I was on a tour and the tour manager was like, would yeah, go like he loved it, and we were in Florida. Oh, and he okay. got up like six hours early after everybody had been up all night drinking to go to Disneyland for three hours. And like, then, really? yeah, uh, he got fired. 
Uh, not that not that day. He got fired. Uh, then like his Instagram, I was he was like he was clearly like kind of like, well, I'm blowing my severance pay, and it was just him getting drunk at Disneyland and all these little, drinking these weird drinks. And it was pretty hilarious, and also I was like, this guy is really melting down in his favorite place. So yeah, there's um. It's going to be amazing. I'm, I've only seen pictures of the new Star Wars when it's at Disneyland. As a kid, I remember going to Epcot Center, and that made me curious as, as a child about, like, you go to, like, all the different countries that are represented. I, I can only imagine that. But that's not a Disney adult's different than being, like, a parent taking your kid yeah, to see, that's, enjoy some, like, that's, uh, being a grown adult that wants to. But we've covered well, cosplay. cosplay. We've yeah. covered Juggalos. We've covered all these other things. Yeah. This seems like just a a, a higher uh, barrier in, of entry. Yeah, you need to be in a, like a, yeah, like a six figure income kind of place. Yeah, yeah. I like. I guess like. I don't have too many personal stories. But never went to, I loved Disney movies when I was a kid, but that's like as close as I get to this. So the people who are mm-hmm. like the Disney adults, I don't. Well, I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> when I was, when I. Was, <laughs> When I was a child, whatever childish things. When I was a man, I learned to put away childish things. <laughs> whatever that fucking quote is. But I just, I don't have much experience with this at all. But I guess on the outset of this episode, I don't see there's anything too wrong with it outside of it kind of weirding me out a little bit. And I, maybe like spending a bit too much money on uh, uh, themed hosiery. It does It does have a little bit of that like stunted growth, like, oh, something traumatic happened yeah, to yeah, you when you were seven. That's where so you, you want to go with it. Yeah. You stayed in that place in your life. Well, like, yeah. oh, back when. After your parents told you they were getting divorced, your dad yeah, took you here. Yeah. When, when Tigger and Winnie the Pooh were my best friends, that was before <laughs> the bad man that would touched the, me. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, oh, now you just stay there the rest of your that life. That would be like, like if I went into somebody's house and they had, an adult had Disney sheets, I'd be like, this is the fucking line. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like. Do you think they make like king, king size Disney sheets? Like past a full size bed, they just shouldn't make them anymore. No, th- yeah. or if you do, you are registered. Yeah, like I people that. keep an eye on you. Like oh, this guy's buying Disney <laughs> sheets left and right. Si- yeah, for a king size <laughs> bed, pile of them covered in blood in this closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess. I guess like. I guess for me to like. I guess what I'll try is it. There's going to be a level of this I am okay with. Yeah. yeah, and then that's where it's gonna. Like, I can handle a, a Minnie Mouse dish towel, you know. Like, yeah, I don't want the whole the whole oh, di- I don't dinner want, set. Yeah, that's where I kind of. I think there's there's gonna be how much I can take of, of what, the if, what if what if that your if, level of Disney adult is. What's I'm, 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 a, I'm me. assuming we're, we'd be speaking of a of a lady you'd be seeing. You're going on a date with a lady. Everything's great. This woman, you're hitting it off. She makes no mention of her. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's what she's ashamed of. It's like she's, she gives me a comeback like to my she's place. Got, yeah, she's got like six toes on one foot or something. You go back to her house, much like and then much like a cartoon dog. Or yeah, 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 yeah. And then you go back to her house. It's a bunch of Disney stuff. Um, what does she say I, to make that okay for you? Like, oh yeah, I just come upstairs. I got to do yeah. <laughs> like, I, that's probably all she has to say to get it to be okay. All right, me. okay, maybe yeah. it's a bad example that yeah. I'm setting up here. Uh no, I don't <sighs> knowing that if you were to commit to this person for life, these uh, would be these would be your oh. vaca- these would be your vacations. You'd be it's like, "Oh, we're going to go to Disney World again." I Here's the thing. I don't. I mean, I've never been. You know, I don't. I can't. I'm the, the idea is to be positive about. I've never been I, to Disney World. I Disney know, World. but I want to know is how. Is that weird to you, Charlene? You're looking at me. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that I've never been. Yeah. But also, you grew up in Texas. It's not like you grew no, up you grew close up in by. Texas. You should have, like, at no point. Never. No. Uh-huh. No. no. But I don't think that's. School? Not for school? Yeah. No. I went on a school trip. Way I ever went when I was a kid. But you were in Georgia, so you just went down to Florida? Yeah. 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 No, I no. It's weird to me that you went for school. It's not. It's not. It's well, not. No, we went <laughs> we went to the Six Flags for school to do like science and yeah. like do the figure it sort out the 
uh, uh, clearly I passed that class. Yeah, you did. Great. Uh, you know, the G force phys- physics. Yeah. Um, no, we never went. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, I guess if I really like this girl, she was like, we're going to go to Disneyland. I, you're going to dress like that for Halloween. You're going to be guest. I don't think I can do it. I honestly don't. You're going to be the, the, if, the candle. We'll get into it, but there's the weddings. Yeah. And the, there's like a whole industry there with him. Well, maybe, maybe we should move into, uh, the world of Disney adults. I think we should. <laughs> we'll be right back. After with the good and the bad after this, no fun, no, no fun sponsor this time. No fun. Oh God, <laughs> Disney, <laughs> we own everything. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, we what are. a great <laughs> ad. <laughs> okay, Disney adults. Uh, the good and the bad. Well, uh, thanks to Charlene for doing all the wonderful research here that we read ahead of time. Yeah, we actually time. did it this time. Yeah, we yeah. did, Charlene. We're trying to do right by you. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank the only applause we're going to receive for this. That's not true. Halloween's our standing ovation for our podcast. It's very important in the film festival circuit these days. Um, I uh, <laughs> I don't know why every fucking tweet of this movie got this long of a standing over this movie. Who gives a shit? <laughs> anyway, let's do more uh, completely dated stuff for when yeah, this comes out in five yeah. minutes. Yeah, uh, I I think that I, I I the adults obsessive behavior in adults exists everywhere. I mean, sports fans. Yeah, all over. So I've seen I've seen examples of this in just dudes that it's like. They have a shrine to a team, and they have a tattoo of the team, yeah. and they have all that stuff, and their mood is based on how that team performs versus where Disney, it's not like, oh, Mickey Mouse lost. Well, like the outcome, all, the outcome is controlled were, with Disney. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're, you're, so you're, value you're it, yeah. celebrating a sure thing. So That's lo- kind of nice. Yeah. Logically, an adult betting on something that's going to bring them joy guaranteed is a, is makes more sense than an adult yeah. that's into sports like go, like some base sense. Their I see what you're saying on that. I see what you're saying. I uh yeah, as far as like I think it's just that it's just a kind of a weird thing to be into but you're you make a very good point about people being of like culture obsessive over certain things. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like even guys like we know guys like I love music, you love music. It's like one of those things like you have your friend who's got way too many vinyl records and like way too many, uh, or it's just like, like way this, too much memorabilia of stuff that you're like, yeah, man, you got kids, you gotta, yeah, you gotta not spend money on this like, poster, yeah, yeah. I mean, as far as the marketing of it, I mean, Kiss is like just an entity that happens to have like a department that makes songs, yeah. <laughs> That's just we a, do it's Kiss a mer- for an episode. Yeah, G- yeah. Kiss is just a merchandising company that also puts out novelty albums. Yeah, like like honestly, Kiss and Disney are the same thing, and a record from Kiss is the same as when Alvin and the Chipmunks put out a new song. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree. And I, people yeah. like the songs that the Pixar songs a lot better than anything Kiss has put out lately. Like 35 years from now, or, yeah, or the last 35 years. I would say I think the one thing I will like. like if you're a Disney adult, I think like you're a little like I, you lose this when you get older. But like to be invested in a little bit of wonder and have a little bit of imagination to you, mm-hmm. yeah. To like, I, it's kind of a weird way to do it to me, but I do like it. Like I do like that you be, not being cynical, and not be in uh, being childlike is kind of a nice thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'll give these people that. That's like the the positive I was trying to to take from it. Well, there is um, an article. It's a Rolling Stones article where uh, Amanda Brennan, I'll say, whatever this title means, she's a senior director of trends at XX Artists and a so-called meme librarian. That's gross. Yeah. But she makes a good point about the different types of fandom. Like there's the type of people that have to know everything about, like, like Star Wars fans base their worth on knowing uh, everything. Who, the who shot first thing. And, and, yeah. ju- and just everything underneath it, yeah. knowing all about it. The special for, effects people. The, and yeah, that's, like, yeah, she calls that uh, prescriptive fandom. So that's uh, you're just knowing about But 
Disney is transformative fandom, which is not about the facts and the details, but as she says, more on feelings and self-expression. This makes me happy. I am going to do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, if feel good about this, and, and it, it's transformative. I'm in a better mood because I'm around these things. That is, that that I'd rather tolerate those people more than Star Wars people who just yeah. want to like uh, fully tell you that they're, they're, they're just kind of one up you and like. Yeah, jump, we, yeah, and we maybe we should do Star Wars eventually. So, but I, like that stuff, I don't. There's a yeah, th- and this is a little bit less. The the culture around Disney adulting is a little bit less in that. Like no, uh, it's it's adult, and, and and some of the criticism that's like, well, it you, it obviously takes a lot of money to be able to take these trips every year. Yeah, that's like so. Yeah, it's like it's a wealth, not maybe not wealthy, but like a person, a person. Yeah, it's kind of exclusionary in, if, in the financial sense. That's some of the criticisms is that like, oh, I, look who's got this money to do this, and it's just a big capitalistic machine. Does it like well, what is it? The NFL? Ar- what what isn't a big? Uh, yeah, capitalistic I kind of I, I kind of hate that argument. Yeah, yeah, like it's just like these people are just spending their money on what they want to spend it on. It's like I, I mean, I think it's a little dumb to spend money on that, but like. Whatever, yeah. yeah, like they're not, you know. There's not a lot of good arguments. The, the, the problem should be with it. Disney, not the Disney adulting. For like, this problem should be with who's setting the price, not the people who are going to it. Yeah, yeah. And if I mean, if people are going to pay it, then you want to live in a free market world. People are going to keep would, paying. I it. I can't believe people pay on... twenty five, thirty bucks to see me. Sometimes, I yeah, I. Yeah, lo- like, uh, you ever look at what other comics charge at a club? Insane. <laughs> yeah. I, I've always said like I can give you the same show. I I could charge fifty dollars. And give you the same show that I'll give you for twenty five dollars. It's not going to be as good to you. <laughs> It'll be the same show, yeah. but you know you spent twenty five bucks. The man, priority. Kyle Kinane's great. I spent fifty bucks. It was all right. Yeah, the priorities. Yeah, yeah. What, I know. what a way to reach for the stars. I, I understand marketing. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, a lot of these are. I think it's the biggest argument is that it's just um, as Charlene would say, they're fucking weird. They're fucking that, weird. The, yeah, yeah, and and you can stand. There's by There's a little bit too much of like. I'm trying to talk to you right now, and mm. I don't want you to hit, like be holding a wand. Yeah, yeah like yeah, you yeah. know, like you know, yeah. like yeah. There's like a little bit of that that I'm like, you need to kick that fucking can down the road, buddy. We're we're yeah. fighting over a parking spot right now. I can't, like, but I'll go. I'll even commend them for having the courage to want to fight somebody over a parking lot, but be dressed like Mickey from Fantasia. Yeah, with like that I, yeah. purple robe getting caught in the door, like <laughs> motherfucker. I, I don't think it's, it's a tercel from ninety six. That's what I mean. I think if you're in your Fantasia robe, maybe your attitude towards the world is a little bit easier. Of like, I'm not gonna get mad. I I don't think anybody thinks they're a princess or a wizard. I think they. I know. think they do in that moment. Yeah, yeah. I think like here's the thing, I'm all for them uh, doing it in the arena. So, mm-hmm. I just don't. Um, yeah, it's cause it's 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 like they do it. Do, leather, I'm not gonna make leather. fun of you for going to your house and everybody mm-hmm. else is dressed like that and doing that. Like you guys go enjoy yourselves, but don't fucking. But, <sighs> but in a whole world of like where you can't, you're not supposed to kink shame anybody for something they want to do sexually. Like, yeah, I'm going to wear my butt plug to Jiffy Lube, and you can't say any, you can't say anything about that. Yeah. And you're like, okay, I can't. But if somebody wants to wear a big pointy wizard hat, I'm going to be like, look at this fucking nerd. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, as long as you're hip- not sitting in front of me in a movie theater yeah, with it on, I don't yeah, give a shit. Yeah, that's hypocritical. Yeah, there, it's true. Yeah, there's like, uh, in that same Rolling Stone mm-hmm. article, it's uh, uh, in my discussion with other Disney fans and experts, the, world that, the word that keep, kept coming up was simply cringe. On its most basic mm-hmm. level, it strikes outsiders as deeply as embar- deeply embarrassing to throw oneself into a subculture ostensibly aimed at children, despite the fact that the Disney parks at Walt Disney first conceived of them were very much intended for people of all ages. Mm-hmm. A lot of people see it as a very naive, and it's, and it's a lot of escapism, and that works for you. Then when it <laughs> then it works very well, and if it doesn't, it has the opposite effect, says Sabrina Madam, I can't get it. A Disney fan and postdoctoral <laughs> research and lecturer of American cultural history at the University of Kassel in Germany. Well, that's. But the, cringe is what somebody that's not happy, so they got to judge what somebody else is doing that yeah, makes them happy that's the with thing. with no collateral damage. Yeah, there's there's truly no. I think there's no big harm in. I the, think there's limits. I mean, I know I said the thing about the butt plug, which uh, leads me to the story that Charlene <laughs> sent us. Adult film star making explicit content shuts down Disney ride. I couldn't find the content. I, I could, looked really hard. Did you? Um, I yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, I was sure down uh, quick, but I fucking thought that was an awesome idea. <laughs> 
making porn. like as, as far as somebody who's like you know like you're always looking everybody's always looking for a gimmick and in influencing and in shows like yeah yeah hey i'm gonna be i'm gonna be the i'm gonna be the porn star who gets railed in a teacup yeah, yeah i like, mean i i you know what again kink shaming versus why don't you let a kid have a magical experience without seeing your uh, your uh, bright pink butthole <laughs> open to the world sure that's not just some dog's it's, nose it, that's what i'm saying you don't yeah. want to get those images confused with a child this is from a website called oddly enough inside the magic um yeah it was uh she tried to make a ride i think on the little mermaid ride which is just so many euphemisms for now that we're yeah. talking about porn and uh and uh, this lady but i guess a whole new world. yeah a whole a whole new oh, world that what, yeah right that's there. what it was that's, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I guess she got, uh, I couldn't find it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but she like, I, I just wanted to bring it up that somebody tried doing that. And I, I like, I don't want to be a prude, but maybe you should like not do sex stuff around a bunch of kids. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with that. The, the arguing. That, I don't yeah. think that's uh, uh, kink shaming when it's like, hey, uh, don't do sex stuff around children. Hey, hey! Yeah. I don't. I don't want to sound yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm all cute. Yeah. I'm just. A, I'm, uh, a, I'm just a Disney adult here. Yeah, I like, I, I'm like you guys are like putting on a robe. I don't, uh, don't want to sound like QAnon. <laughs> like, oh yeah. man, they're all out to travel. But maybe uh, keeping your pants at Disneyland. Yeah, that's a little bit. <laughs> but uh, this mm. is some. You're a person who. Uh, and you're a person. <laughs> We're just two people. <laughs> and what, I. You are a god. <laughs> Um, just no. a man talking to a man doing a podcast, <laughs> putting on some Mickey ears. And <laughs> you want to do? I mean, there's already the parodies are out there. Although I don't know how uh, litigious the uh, Buena Vista television is with going through porn and being like, you can't too close. <laughs> well, I here's what I wanted to say was like, um, so I think a lot of the just because it because it's such a kid themed, like a childlike thing. Yeah, these people are spending money on it and it's expensive. But it's – I spend money on experiences all the time over, like, buying mm. a car or, like, you know, yeah, like – like, physical item, sure. Yeah, like, and I think a lot of people live that way now. So this is – Yeah. Yeah, like, it's like – I mean, we went to a punk rock festival together, mm. and we spent a fair amount of money to do the bougie end of it. Yeah. And I'm not so, even going to say bougie. I'm just like, yeah. man, I'm in my 40s. I want a clean toilet. Porta potty. Yeah, yeah. That's And that's what we did. Yeah, and this is essentially this. It, we did essentially the same thing what these Disney adults do. Yeah. Like, so like I think there's like some judgment on like, you know, if, if you see a guy dropping a thousand bucks at Disneyland and then he's taking a bus pad, like taking a bus home. Yeah, you're kind of like get your shit together. But I, I mean, that's that's his money. Truly, again, it's not hurting anyone. I'm seeing, uh, yeah, I'm seeing uh, as much as it's weird. I don't. I can't. I can't rightfully judge the escape. Yeah. The escapism. Uh, it's again. I have a lot of it. Y yeah. We we all, we are stunted adults. We run around getting drunk and telling jokes. We that's for what we do for a living. That's a, if I was eighteen. That's all I was trying to do every Friday. I'm like I'm just gonna be the funny one at a party I'm, and try I'm, and find I'm free still, booze. I'm a forty year old child. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, there is. I don't want to dress like Disney, but maybe I could stop dressing like I'm at an all ages show, <laughs> yeah, and I'm tw and I'm 19 TV. years old. So, the, and and like I was reading this uh, this sorry, this NPR article about the people that dress up like like how it's like it's like a religion to them. It's a, yeah, and it's uh, this lady that's featured in like all right, she seems a little nutty, and she's <laughs> you know, she's got to dress up like. She goes to Anaheim from San Francisco, not that bad, but she goes several years, several times a year, and she dresses up like a princess and all this shit. And then you find out that it's like, oh, well, she escaped into Disney movies because she's got some disease that like renders her body. She's just in a bunch of pain all the time. She's holed up in bed. And so she would go, she'd watch Disney movies, and that kind of took her away from feeling bummed out so when she's feeling better she goes to disneyland i'm like all right well see i was a dick because i was judging yeah. her halfway through the article then yeah. there's this other guy he's like he's a lawyer but he goes to disney world and he takes his boyfriend they do a bunch of gay stuff disney does gay stuff <laughs> they do uh, uh <laughs> what you, hold on <laughs> they, what, 
What do you mean? Like they do a bunch of gay stuff. Like, like they have like gay day. Oh, at yeah, Disney. Like okay. Oh, day. Yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they try and lick your butthole <laughs> I don't on know. Space Mountain. <laughs> I, don't know. I was like, you're pretty hard on that adult film star. <laughs> they they <laughs> sneak up. They sneak up on you in a haunted mansion, trying to touch a dink. <laughs> <laughs> so then you buy a nineteen dollar lemonade when you're done. Every, every seventh hologram in the haunted mansion, just a big cock that shows up <laughs> in a little cart with you, <laughs> and it flashes real quick and goes away. But they do that. They like goths go to Disneyland. They got God Day at Disneyland. Like for for it being so, there like, are all different kinds of Disney adults too, which is the uh, yeah, yeah. And what better to come back from the the Jew hating Walt Disney? To then just yeah, that's the have one. the park flooded with men in makeup and gay people and stuff. I'm like, just, yeah, suck it, Walt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We took it back. You know, I think that's a great <laughs> yeah. vengeance. I'm sure he's up there sleeping on a mattress filled with money. <laughs> well, you know, money's important up yeah. there in heaven. Uh, <laughs> well, you got. I'm. I'm. I'm all. I have no. I'm not issues having a hard. So yeah, I'm not having a hard I'll time. Ju- I'll, I will definitely snicker at it, but yeah. I am. Uh. It's really not hurting anyone for the most part. No, so. and they're they're weird. If you again, if you're showing up to family parties and you're like, yeah, Fur- furries is like almost let explicitly me, sexual. This is just like oh, I got the goofy. Yeah. Ha- the head let with me, the let goofy me pose ears. this question to you. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you have a kid, right? Not gonna happen. But, but okay. yeah, this is a hypothetical. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say you have a kid. It's a kid is seven. Okay. It's Christmas morning. And right. your hypothetical sibling, brother, sister, whatever, who's a Disney adult, yeah, comes over for you all know, having a normal Christmas. Your kid opens his Christmas present, and it's Disney themed from from your weird brother or sister who's a Disney adult. <laughs> Charlene's shaking her head no already. But what? Of I mean, like, well, do you start to like? Uh, does that is that off putting to you in any way? If I have a Disney sibling. That's what I would expect. Of course, it's Disney. It's made for kids. No, why would that? Why would that be? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it just of seems course. A little, like, of course, your aunt Ding little... Dong or Uncle <laughs> Uncle Uncle Wing Wong got you this <laughs> some goofy Disney shit because they're goofy Disney people. And then if yeah. you're, you can like it or not like it. Yeah. Okay. I just I'm yeah, good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it would weird me out a little bit. I think like I would be like this is not groom me, but. Uh... I don't see it any different to be like, I got you the refrigerator Perry jersey. Like, I don't see that being yeah. any different. It's not. I guess you're not. You're, here's you're, here's you're, an you're adult. Yeah, yeah, here's an adult trying to share an interest that a child might also enjoy. Yeah, I guess you're not wrong. I don't I think, think it's... It to me. Charlene's making a face like. <laughs> I just am imagining what the creepy Disney uncle would think is an appropriate Disney. Yeah. Well, now we're saying creepy instead of just an adult that likes Disney. Now we're putting a judgment on here, which is what we're trying to avoid. We're going against the whole point of the show. Yeah. I guess I'll judgment. have a line with this. What I'll say, I'll have a line with <laughs> I had a problem with, like, early. my parents had a problem with any family that was just so outwardly wholesome. Yeah, it rubbed off on you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It, we we go it like, clearly came. I forget somebody's house and they had every Disney VHS and every like only G rated wholesome movies. My parents were they were like, that's fucking weird. But also, <laughs> yeah, they got cable TV for my sister and I like from just an early age. It was just like, yeah, watch whatever. So I also grew up just seeing like Friday the Thirteenth when I was just nine. Yeah, yeah. You moved in the other term. so. Is is one better than the other? Yeah, I mean horror. People who are very into horror and like that but, stuff exists. In the, but it's like a, if you're sheltering your kid versus yeah. not sheltering him at, at all. all. Yeah. Like, oh, here's just people being decapitated. Versus, oh, the world's only magical and happy endings. Those are both two unreasonable expectations of the the world. If you don't, if you're not just being a parent to teach them. Yeah. You got to yeah. give them both. You got to go. I guess it is, just needs to be like you got Nightmare keep... on Elm Street and Fantasia. Y- yeah, same yeah. night, double feature. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of fun so to you me. Gotta, yeah. You, you got to yin and yang those yeah. kids, hey, man. You got to get the salty and the sweet in there, buddy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Charlene, were you about to say something? Um, I well, I was just going to say that watching a horror films, like at least you're learning how to not get murdered. Are you? Not sure what you're learning from. Morality? You're learning morality from I guess Disney there's films. that, yeah. yeah. 
I guess, and then and never to, and if with horror, you're mostly just learning not to sneak off and have sex in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. be the only black friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't don't say. <laughs> yeah. Don't say I'm sure it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. I think we're onto something. Here. <laughs> Uh, I d- there's this article uh, from BuzzFeed that Charlie Fells says Disney don't care if you don't care if you hate them they're having fun anyways and of I uh, I love that yeah 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 I, <coughs> I want you to find me a bitter Disney adult what does that guy even look they, like I don't think they're not out there and that so what a great a- scene there's not going to be somebody that's like uh, I'm a big fan of Pixar films. I'm also uh, I'm really close. I'm really close to the edge, guys. I'm really concerned about the world economy. Yeah, yeah. yeah school shooters aren't dressing like Buzz Lightyear. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they're not. That's. I think it's teaching people. And yeah, I get. Yeah, and, and I guess the, there's that. Like yeah. what, amusement parks. These are just not even relating to Disney. Disney stuff. Uh, healthfitnessrevolution.com. Top ten health benefits of visiting theme parks. They're actually good for you. You're walking miles. You're walking around. You don't realize. Okay, it. I'll give that. You know, you're burning calories riding the rides. Some of these things I think were written by a Disney adult to try and yeah. fit, relieve stress in some way, but then, you know, improves see, mood. See a porn star's butthole on a ride this, next to you. Maybe yeah. it gives you more stress. Improves mood. Provides a rush of adrenaline. Sure. Tones the muscles. I don't know about that. Yeah, this one says... You, how many times do you have to ride a ride to have your muscles toned? As you're thrown around the corners and forced down 100-foot drops in a split second, you decide whether or not to clutch the handrail in front of you or throw your arms up in the air. At this point, your muscles tighten, especially your core, as you anticipate the turns and drops of your ride. Working out some of the muscles, then you would typically be working mm-hmm. out at the gym. Yeah. Um, that's a stretch. Like... <clears throat> All the diarrhea you're going to get from a seven-hour-old funnel cake will really <laughs> shed the pounds Stop. right off of you. <laughs> Foster's bonding time with family and friends. I'll go against that one. I saw a lady push her, push her kid into a wall. <laughs> Great way to socialize. Eh, okay, all right. They think they're trying to. And it says overcome your fears. Also, this whole thing is just top ten. Like, if you look at the other clicks, the top ten health benefits of anything. This this web. All right, I'm not giving this one a lot of credit. <laughs> Sorry, no offense, Charlene. Thanks, but what is this thing called? That you found um, it's a, it's here. Uh, older older adults who Disney feel younger. bounding. It's just where you dress up in like an outfit that would, you don't dress up in the outfit of the character, but like in course you don't. You're not colors. the character, but you kind of yeah steal their style a little bit. Yeah, is like it? if you're Winnie the Pooh, you just let your dick hang out and just wear a shirt. <laughs> um, you know, just, you know. <laughs> If you're into Tigger, you just kind of sit on, <laughs> bouncing around on your ass. For a little, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So many, so many no pants characters in Disney. Yeah. Um, I think that Daffy Duck, Donald Duck. I screwed that one up before too. Thank you. Da- yeah. But no pants. Winnie the Pooh. It no is weird pants. when they give them one article of clothing. You know, and like yeah, and they, they like they give them that much. They'll put like a red shirt on, but like, and then yeah. everything else is like, oh yeah, that's just a chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but it's got a baseball hat on for some reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is like go. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's been some choices made in the uh, animator yeah. studio, but I got, I got, I'm, I'm. You do you, Disney adults. I'm probably not hanging out in the same circles, and I, I know that if you were to date a Disney adult, you there is some, probably some sort of trauma that is, in there. When you finally like, it just reminds me of, like Ned Actually. Flanders when he finally admits that he just hates his beatnik parents. Oh yeah, and like that's why he's been like <laughs> such a good at two shoes yeah, yeah. Christian. Yeah, for the rest of his the, life. the garble. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna say this before we switch into uh, the callers. Lots of calls, by the way. Thanks everybody. Seventy four by <laughs> strong opinion. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what these people say. Um, uh, best things to do as an ad- to do at Disney for adults. Uh, this this first one sounds like it's right up your alley. Oh, yeah, okay. here we go. Grab a drink at Olga's Cantina, a dimly lit tavern with background music played by aliens. If that's not you, Kanane, I don't know what the fuck is. It's Star <laughs> that, Wars. It That's the Star Wars part. Yeah. They got a whole Star... The pictures of that Star Wars stuff looks amazing. Yeah. But that seems right up your alley. They're not aliens. They're Star Wars aliens. I don't think you have to go to the theme park to go to that bar. Are you what? sure about that? That's what I heard. Do you want to do something after this? 
wait, so you can just be like, I'm not here for the rides. I'm just trying to get <laughs> fucked up. And they're like, oh, yeah, over here. <laughs> How is that? That, line, no that, that line looks so different. <laughs> there's no <laughs> yeah, way. That it's that's... just a guy, a bunch of guys who look like they tore up racetrack tickets. <laughs> yeah, dudes that just got a bunch of, bunch of construction workers. Ah, we're just going yeah. to the Star Wars Payday. bar. Payday. <laughs> Drink at the Around the World Bar at Epcot. Challenge your adult companions to drink one beer, one wine, or cocktail beverage at each of the 11 World Showcases countries. Oh, yeah. Note that the World Showcase <laughs> typically is open from 11 to 9 p.m., so you have less than an hour to eat down each other. Not only get kicked out of Disneyland, I got kicked out of Norway. <laughs> 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 See how many countries you can get kicked out of. I like that. Okay. And let's do uh, just a couple more. Uh Club thirty three at Disneyland. Isn't I tried. Yeah, I think we tried to go to that. Is that that's the one that's part of like I think it's part of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. That if you look across the way, there's like tables. There's seating across from where you're like kind of floating on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And I believe that might be it. I'm not entirely sure, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> and it says an exclusive club located in New Orleans. Square at Disneyland. It was designed by Walt Disney as a place where dignitary celebrities could visit the theme park without having to wait in long lines or on a long, long list with everyone else. Okay. It is $30,000. You get annual passes that are 365 days a year, 51-day park hopper tickets, five-day-long VIP guided tours. Membership fee is $30,000. Mm-hmm. Plus fifteen k annually to remain a member. I hope you get uh, parking. Thirty grand, better give me some parking. <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I mean, the rest of that stuff seems nice, but then they're gonna be like, also twelve bucks. Like, I, would, I would raise a <laughs> yeah, stink. Yeah, they just clipped it on. Yeah, I would raise a stink. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, so there, most of this shit isn't so bad. It's just a little. Um, it's the adults that like it. The park itself is designed to bring you happiness. Yeah. That's I guess that's and, a, they're and, selling a <laughs> dreams do come true. Yeah, and not even in a Six Flags grifter type of way. Like the rides <laughs> feel safe. Okay, yeah. I do feel bad. One of the, my, I have been to Six Flags, and I do have never felt safe at it. My buddy, who's a very large man, went with his uh, nieces and nephews, and I think he was too large for Space Mountain. And so the ride, like, stopped. And they'd had to turn the lights on in Space Mountain. He said it was one of the most disgusting things he's ever seen in his <laughs> life. It was like looking under a movie theater seat. He said, it's just vomit and trash oh, everywhere. Good God. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to the college. We'll be baby. right back after a word from our sponsor this week Vomit and Trash, the only uh, adult beverage company that uh, no accounting for taste. Who cares? We'll be right back. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the Dallas Cowboys disappoint me again this year, especially on Thanksgiving. That's the best time to lose money and family fun. No House Advantage is changing the game by offering the most dynamic fantasy sports platform available today. Play and pick em contest versus other people for the shot at winning $250,000 plus in cash. Download the app, choose a contest, select your player props, earn points for correct picks, and climb the leaderboard for your shot to win big money every day. Download the app, choose a contest, select your player, props, earn points for correct picks, and climb the leaderboard for your shot to win big money every day. Bet on up to five player prop over-unders or individual player matchups across every major sports league, including NFL, NBA, MLB, PGA, MMA, and NASCAR. I like skateboards. Sign up now with promo code NAFT at NoHouseAdvantage.com or download the app on the App Store to get first deposit match up to $25. Fuck the Broncos. Jeez, you're just making more editing work for Charlene. All right, we got a lot of callers. 74 calls. If you're going to see that Simpsons land, cool. If you're going to see the Star Wars stuff, cool. The Club 33, you know, that hidden bar thing, cool. Just don't overdo it. Let the kids run around first, you know. You know, don't be showing up, cussing and getting obliterated and pushing a kid out of the way so you can meet Mickey first. Don't be ridiculous. If you're going to do your thing, go in, be chill about it, get out of there. It's fine. I'm not going to judge you on it. Don't go crazy. Don't wear the Mickey Mouse ears. You're an adult. 
<laughs> Leave that for the kids. Let the kids be kids. This is where they can let loose and have fun. Anyways, love the podcast, guys. Uh, love it whenever, Kyle, you bring up all the hometown stuff since I grew up in the area. Have a good Sorry, one, y'all. man. <laughs> oh. I think... Uh, uh, this guy's basically I, just saying... Uh, know that the kids are... It's for the kids first. I think it's... Yeah, the, it sounded yeah. like he was telling himself not to do those yeah, things. Yeah, he was a little... In parentheses. He already sounded like again. he was into his cups a touch. Yeah. I forgot they got... They don't have Simpsons there. Simpsons at Universal. Yeah. But I think he's just saying... I guess this is kind of an overall... Uh, adult let, let adult kid, etiquette in the theme park. Adult etiquette. Yeah. I, I mean... I would have a problem with any adult pushing a child out of the way for pri- <laughs> I, I priority. I mean, you'd open with a story about somebody shoving a roller. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and I also said that I spent the money to, uh, within park rules, advance to the front of the line before anybody else. And I, I stand by that. That's where I wanted to spend my money. Yeah. I, I I'm not going to push a child <laughs> not gonna elbow a kid out of the way. I just don't. I can't imagine spending a ton of money and being around children and thinking this was a good vacation. Well, it's also I wouldn't have like it's. We live here, you know. That's when I, or when I was when I was living in Southern California. So mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, you drive down there for the day and you come home that night. Yeah. So it's a day a day at an amusement park. It's not like oh, we're gonna fly there. There's an exit. <laughs> my yeah. parents. My parents went to di- went to Disney World for their fortieth anniversary just because like yeah let's go we used to go they went by themselves <clears throat> grown adults and then my mom like they went on roller coasters my mom's like we're all fucked up <laughs> i'm like yeah you're not supposed to do that my dad's on blood thinners my mom <laughs> still smokes a pack a day you're not supposed to be on these roller coasters yeah, it's not like you're just in peak physical form and can handle Getting your cage rattled. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's already a little soupy up there as yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, you're, you're surprised that now you're lightheaded for 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Disney's equals Steelers as a call. All right. Hi, this is uh, Andy from Kentucky. Oh, yeah. I am a, I guess, quote-unquote, Disney adult. And my brother and I have had this debate several times over. And... We've definitely come to the conclusion that being a Disney adult is no different than being a weird, diehard sports fan. Agreed. And I would argue there's a cooler subculture with Disney adults than there are with NFL teams, because there's some pretty cool Disney adult tattoos out there. You should look them up. But I've yet to see a cool Pittsburgh Steelers tattoo. Uh, Once again, thanks for everything y'all do. Uh, sound a little judgy going the other way, kind yeah, of. The, yeah. Uh, yeah, but his point is his uh, his logic is sound. Yeah, I can't imagine uh, Mickey Mouse beating the shit out of Minnie Mouse because the fireworks dip- display yeah. because like a, yeah. because the light parade <laughs> yeah, yeah. wasn't to his liking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, this, I, so I, he's just like rubbing a Goofy's nose in it. Yeah, like. <laughs> my but my buddy uh, took his family. It was him and his wife and his four four young children to Disney World. And uh, right when they got there, like the first day, like they got settled in and they were at the park. And he 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 told me this story by going by telling me, he's like, I know this is funny, but it's sad for me to tell you. But I know okay. it's funny. Okay, let's go. He found out that his dad passed away right when they got into the park. And they're devastated. But they were also stuck behind the light parade. So they couldn't just leave. <laughs> so they had to just walk right behind the light parade. F- of six people weeping, <laughs> following the most magical part in the most magical place on earth. <laughs> of everybody Whoa. like, this is just whimsical. And Watch then I- two adults and four kids just like, <gasps> <laughs> like it was it was very unexpected. This kid's just gonna have a bunch of Stephen King tattoos. <laughs> and he said, and he told he told me he's like, I know that was funny. Like what? Like yeah, yeah. I I know he's and he's like, Yeah, we were sad. He told that to me, like I, this is a No, funny. he's got a great sense of humor. And he about said it. that the park, like they were very accommodating because of the circumstances and like let's we'll we will make this right. This is terrible. Oh, good. Happened, so another vote for Disney. And okay. thank you, Andy, for your call. And you're not wrong about the I would rather see drunk people in Disney costumes than drunk dudes in football jerseys at a bar any day. I'll give yeah. 
I'll go with that 100%. Let's see. Also, uh, there's a bar. We can go drink. There's a Disney bar on Hollywood Boulevard here. It's just a bar with a lot of Disney murals on the wall. <laughs> okay, then I could probably do that. <laughs> yeah, Snow I White, could do that. A, it's the Snow White bar. Yeah, I'm going to look it up. All right, let's go to another call and look up Snow White bar. <laughs> okay. Disney cast member. Has, oh, this is uh, from an employee of the park. Right. Snow White Cafe. Sounds like cocaine. Hi guys, this is Madeline. Um, I saw Kyle in Orlando actually a couple of months ago, and it was a great show. I'm in the bathtub right now, but I'm not only a Disney adult, I'm a Disney cast member. Um, and I have a friend who cried when she got to have a dole whip after the parks reopened, which I thought was a little much. But <laughs> she loved it. She went the first day. It's not so much Disney adult that I don't, you know, care about, but the Disney TikTokers. Some of them are really great, and some of them are awful, and they're awful to cast members. And that is the kind of Disney adult that I do not like. Love you guys. Disney what talkers? TikTokers. Oh, TikTokers. I mean, uh, content creators as a whole. Boy, yeah. that's that's I, I, a subject I, because our, our our inherent disgust at the idea of it right now yeah. means we have to yeah. we have to tackle it. Yeah, I could see some. Anybody who's like priority is their content versus how they treat the people around them while they make that content. Well, I hope they get hit by get, a giant yeah, log get, or whatever. But. Yeah, can get bent yeah. all the way. Um, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm glad she liked your show. Yeah, thank, uh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Or, or, it was a good show. I think it was good. Call from the tub, which is kind of a fun detail. Uh, you know, it, it was a hard day being whatever you were being over yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> I bet those costumes smell. All the stories about if you like throw up in the head, you have to leave it on until you can find a place that you can't take the costume off in front. Like you can't dispel the myth or the wonder of the people around. So you have to keep the costume on. I would. That's a whole series of like, like, Horror stories about Disneyland, like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. cover-ups. Like if somebody dies, like there's, there's uh, urban <laughs> urban myth. Like if somebody dies on a ride, they won't let paramedics come in to help them. They yeah. kind of scoot them out. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't know either. But like I guess, uh, yeah, she's saying as somebody I guess who who deals with them, they're not so bad. The Disney mm. adults, it's just uh, the people who are, um, yeah. Because I guess the the Disney adults aren't monetizing it or trying to like gain anything from it outside of their own joy. Whereas the TikTokers. Got an ulterior motive or two. Yeah, it's it's getting your numbers up. So yeah. all right, I I, yeah, I, I, I agree like with that what you're got, saying there, and, and uh, thank you for being uh, I, and, and also the patience of being a character at a theme it's park. Not for me. I. Don't, you always you gotta, should get hazard pay. Yeah. How long do you think it takes for someone to stop smiling under the helmet? Or under the under the the head. Oh, I don't think they're smiling at all. Yeah, I think like at first, like well, you know, like I think if you're like your first day and you're supposed to be like I'm goofy, you know, like you're just naturally gonna be a little animated at the beginning of every. You know, you try harder on the first day of a job than you do on the second. Uh, that's like a psychological experiment. Like, all right, here's do, here's two goofies. This one isn't smiling, and this one is smiling. Can you tell from the body language? <laughs> like, this guy just got dumped. This guy just got laid. Can you see just from the hands waving uh, yeah. around if you could tell who's who? <laughs> like, This guy's just like. Uh, like <laughs> this one's beating the shit out of kids. I think he's the uh, one who just got can. dumped. <laughs> All right. Let's do. What do we got here? Why they're yuck and why they're yum. Why why yuck their yum? Ugh. That as a phrase is upsetting, but it I also is. get what you're saying. Hey, uh, this is Pat. Um, I think Disney adults are just fine. They appear to be having a good time, so why yuck their yum? That's Ooh. like uh, getting mad at someone, some busty lady for wearing a corset and elves ears at a Renaissance fair. It's like <laughs> it's there. They're happy. There's boob. <laughs> So, <laughs> All right, love the show. All Thanks, right, guys. Pat. Nice. We ain't trying to yuck your yum, buddy. There, uh, there's, uh, I think we got that on a new beer koozie for there's the for boobs. March. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah, I, uh, we might have to pay you for uh, don't yuck their yum. It's so funny. Uh, part <laughs> one, I'm drunk. Okay. What's up, Shane and Kyle? 
full disclosure, I'm shit faced. But <laughs> I have to say, my family did not love me enough to bring to Disney. So when I bring my kids to Disney, maybe I will be one of these people. But these people that are Disney obsessed are just fucking weirdos, straight weirdos. Like, okay, cool. Like you see their pictures, and they're just their kids are kind of half smiling, and they're just ear to ear. It's kind of weird. Like, who hurt you? Who took your childhood away that you're obsessed with Disney as an adult? Like, yes, we all have nostalgic feelings for Disney, but, you know, it's not, no, it's not something you should be obsessed with. You shouldn't be so happy about Disney. I just think it's, I just think it's weird. It's so weird, and I've seen Shane talk about it. It is weird. I talked about it? That's all I have to say. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm shit facing drunk. Okay. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Love, you. Love you too, buddy. It's weird, says the wasted guy call, say, calling strangers from the internet. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I do like his point about, like, if you look at the family pictures and the kids are half smiling and the mm. adults are ear to ear, is a little, like... It does seem like, the, yeah, like the Target demo missed in those kind yeah. of family here's, things. Here's the second part of his call. Oh, he called back. He called hey, Shane and Kyle, I'm actually giving you permission to use this phone call because <laughs> I want to say this is Jeff from New Jersey, okay. the fucking shittiest place in the, in the fucking country. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I still stand by my point. Fucking <laughs> Disney adults are fucking weird. They're fucking. Oh. I, they're just. It's it's just so weird. You just I just I can't explain how I feel about it because it's just I have friends like this who are just obsessed with all the Disney princesses and the Disney fucking all this stuff. It's just oh, it's terrible. I use the word fucking so much, but yeah, use this one instead because I think it's dumber. Use right. this one instead. Bye. It's a dumb. If he called back a third time, you know it's going to be racist. It's a, part three just says sober. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, is it Jeff from Jersey? Hi, My Jeff. friend just played video of me calling you last night. <laughs> uh, it'd be awesome if you didn't use those messages. It's probably funnier if you did. But I uh, still stand by my Disney belief. Adult <laughs> Disney lovers are weird. All right, thanks. Bye. I think, <laughs> I think Jeff needs a trip to Disney World. Oh, yeah, oh shit. <laughs> that guy could use a little wonder. <laughs> We got to get you to loosen up a little, Jeff. I want you I want you to have happiness, buddy. Why don't we do one more call and then call? What do you think? There's, a, right. ton, there's a ton of calls. And, I, we, and by we, the way, guys, um, yeah, uh, we appreciate the amount of calls we got, the magic mountain of calls we got. Oh, uh, good I mean, save, I know things. Good save. Yeah, we're loosening it up. Space uh, Mountain, if you want to keep it in Disney canon. But Okay, yeah. sorry. I tried my best. What You got to do this? You got to take me down like that? I'm just pointing uh, it out. All right. Well. This one and just, we'll go with Patreon. We will be uh, responding to more. Of these yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. That's Patreon. one of our new ideas for uh, our internet panhandling account. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just called Solid B. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, this is Cody. What I'll say about Disney. Cody's been hanging out. Good about Jeff. it. It's really just. It's like a buffet. Everything is a solid B minus. Everything's nice in the middle of the road. You go to their parks, maybe you're paying $8 for a churro, but it's a great churro. So there's a downside, but it's an upside. The problem is, even though it may balance itself out, there's really no valleys, but there's also no mountaintops. There's no bad because there's no good. Everything's in the middle. It's a solid B minus. You need to just tune out for a while. Turn on something made by Disney. Well, well that, his call either cut off or uh, Disney, no. Disney. I think he, I think he feels he made his point. Yeah, uh, I think he I think he still hangs up his cell phone like this. <laughs> 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 I, that's a. Uh, I guess there is something to be said that no peaks, no valleys is a. Uh, yeah, yeah they're like, uh, but I, I personally have found in my life if there are no peaks and no valleys, that is where depression is born. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's, yeah. He's like, get, what is the existence of but, nothing? Uh, but uh, but the movies, he, he didn't enjoy the Pixar films. Yeah, I mean, I like the that's that's of the Disney world. I mean, I haven't watched one in Land? years, but like, uh, buddy, I watched uh, was Up one. Pretty sure. Yeah, up? yeah, that's Ooh, right. Uh, uh, Coco. Oh. <laughs> I I watched Omen Inside Info. Don't worry about it, everybody. Yeah. But like, like they're like well done, 
I don't think they're emotionally manipulative. No. I think they teach. I think they have good values to them. Even if they are, they're a cartoon. They're cartoons. Yeah, so but like they care. have good values to them. Like there's good lessons and morals and like teach kids com be compassionate and there's diversity in them. Like just Pixar alone, if you're an there adult, that's like, I'm going to go watch. The lessons you take from them are great. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go watch every Pixar movie in the theater. If you're like that, like I, I, I support that. I personally, big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean movies. They're fun. They're just a good time. Yo, what is good, guys? I hope you're having a great day. Hey, Doug. Disney adults. Well, as long as you're not hurting people, do whatever. Yeah, you're a little weird with your bumper stickers and fucking, your fucking hats with the ears and shit. But, like, you know, I don't care. It's not hurting me. And, like, I still love a goofy movie, too, but I'm not going to, like, wear a T-shirt about it and, like, spend hundreds of dollars to go to a park. But, like, if that's your thing, totally cool. Have at it. Don't drag me into it. Just take care of you guys. Yeah. The essence of the whole show. Yeah. I'm not hurting anybody. That's yeah. it, man. Just get in there. Enjoy it. If you really want to get loose, you can go drink at the Snow White Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, yeah. Tough. That's. I think the callers, most of them, are pretty, you know, pretty, uh, pretty pro. Nobody's had a good, a good argument other than that it's weird. Yeah, because there isn't one, as far as I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very um. Don't yuck. Yeah, the don't yuck their yum, dude. Don't, don't yuck their yum. That's what we'll call this episode. Mm -hmm. Uh. And I, I like the point the solid B minus guy made. He's just like, it's all fine. Nothing's that great. Nothing's that low. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Which I, it's wild. I mean, like, what roller coasters is he given an A? Like, what's the average on his roller coasters? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That guy's basically just like, it's like Prozac. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, it's just. Uh, I take pills to just give me that even Steven yeah. mood all the time. Yeah. And when I'm on vacation, I just want it hummed out. <laughs> hey, does, can I get that medium spice? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, this has been Disney Adults on No Accounting for Taste this mm -hmm. week uh, at the All Things Comedy Studio here in beautiful Burbank, California. Uh, my name is Shane Torres. You can find me at uh, shaneiscomedian.com, Shane Torres across all social media platforms. I'm on the road a lot, so come see me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Kyle Kinane, and it's Kyle Kinane on all the stuff. Kyle Kinane. We have to start plugging our on shows. The world wide <laughs> on the worldwide Kyle Kinane. On the worldwide Kyle Kinane. All right. Our thanks to everybody who helped with the episode, everyone who called in. Uh, I'm glad. Um, oh, I forgot to call you kitty cats, so there you go. Uh, can't let that slide out of here. Oh, God. Uh, meow, 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 meow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Uh, goodbye for meow. Uh, this has been All Things Comedy Production. No accounting for taste on Bill Burr's Propaganda Network. <laughs> <laughs>